As you may know, Camtasia is a popular screencasting program that allows you to record instruction for your learners. In fact, it's the program that's being used right now to create this instructional video. Once you record a video in Camtasia, you may wonder how to place it into your Moodle course. This way, students can view it in their online learning environment. This video will demonstrate how to make that happen. Once you've recorded your video and edited your timeline, be sure to save the project by going to File, Save Project As, giving it a name, and saving it. Once you've done that, you need to produce the video to YouTube. Click Produce and Share, then click Share to YouTube. Put in your YouTube credentials. You'll need to have a YouTube account. If you're a Baptist Bible College and Seminary faculty member, you can retrieve the login credentials for YouTube by contacting the Distance Education Office. Next, you'll need to give your video a name. A description and tags. The tags are keywords if a user is searching for a YouTube video. The system will pick up on these keywords and find videos that way. Then choose a category. You'll probably want to choose either how to or education. And then just click the radio button for share your video with the world. And then click finish. At that point, your project will upload to YouTube. It will take several minutes depending on the length of your video. Then you can log into YouTube and you'll see that the video is being processed. That will also take a few minutes, so in the meantime, you can go to your videos on the channel, find the one that you've just uploaded onto YouTube, produced, and click Edit Video, and this is where all the information can be edited. So if you wanted to change the description that you put, you can do that here. Um, you're going to want to choose a date. a location, and all that fun stuff. Uh, really the important thing here is for the comments you're going to want to click allow comments with approval only and then click save changes. So let's see if the video is finished being processed. Go to videos and here it is right here. Okay, great. This is the video that I just uploaded. So, I'm going to click share because I want to uh, share this with my students in Moodle. So, I'll click embed to get the code. I'll copy that code after I uncheck show suggested videos when the video finishes because we don't know what kind of videos might be suggested there. So, we'll take that out of the code and then copy the code. Then we'll go into Moodle and we will put this on a web page. So let's go ahead and do that in week three. Add a resource, compose a web page, give it a name. And when the HTML toolbar appears here, we're going to put the embed code. We're going to just paste that in there and then the video should appear. So we'll see how we do that in a few seconds here. Okay, so we'll click on the HTML toggle source and then we'll paste in a code. And I always change the window to new window so that this video will open inside of eLearn instead of on top of it so that 
the student um, won't actually get logged out of eLearn if they're to click out of the video page and then click save and return to course I'm sorry put this in the wrong box here Okay, we'll go ahead and click on that and see if it worked. And there's our video. So that's how you could upload a video to YouTube and then create a web page and embed the video onto Moodle so your students can view it right directly in Moodle. Thank you for watching.